hey to whoever's watching this. Um, so I want to try to upload every Sunday, I think. We'll see how that goes, but I want to start being consecutive, so probably every Sunday would be the best option. So before I get into the video, I just wanted to tell you that and tell you to subscribe and you can turn on your notification bells if you want to get a notification every time that I post. But yeah, I'm going to try to keep it to Sunday, so we'll see how that goes for the school year and such. So let me get into the video. Today, I wanted to tell you a story time about the first time I blacked out at school. Um, it wasn't the first time I blacked out, like, ever, but a little backstory, uh, on my freshman year at school, like, my friend was supposed to room with me, but he wound up not coming, so I didn't have a roommate for all of freshman year, so it was kind of hard for me to talk to people, so I didn't, like, really drink or, like, go out for, like, the first three months of school. So, when I finally, like, got the courage to talk to my friends at school. We were all going out to the club and at my school there's like a bunch of clubs that are like over 18. So you can go. Obviously we weren't 21 yet and we had to pregame. So we were pregaming like in the dorms and So I didn't know like what was cheapest. So everybody was getting brunettes. So I just thought that that sounded good and everybody was like naming off flavors cuz in high school, I drank Smirnoff and stuff like that. Like, we were pretty bougie in high school. Like, we would get Ciroc all the time. So, like, I didn't know what any, like, cheap alcohol was besides, like, Vlad. And obviously, I didn't want that. So, everybody got Burnett's. I just figured that I would get Burnett's, too. And I didn't know any flavors, so they were just naming them off. And Strawberry Banana, for some reason, sounded really good to me. I can't drink it anymore because of this night, but it sounded good to me in the moment. So... They brought it back for us and we just all started drinking. And like throughout the whole night, we were just going in and out of people's rooms like, and everybody was just getting dressed and like pre-gaming. Everybody had music on and just like drinking here and there. I'm like Snapchatting my friends from home, like me taking shots and stuff like that. And like at this point, like this much of my bottle is gone and I'm like feeling it. So once everybody else started drinking, um, everybody wanted to take pictures and stuff like that. These are the pictures, the only pictures that I took that night and the only documentation that I was alive. So I'll put them right here. And that's about all I remember from the rest of the night. This whole rest of the story is from what other people have told me. I guess we all got ready to leave and we went downstairs and I don't even remember leaving the dorm. <laughs> But we got downstairs and we went on the bus. So there's like seats in the back of the bus. It's like a normal bus at like Ocean City or something like that. And it's up against like the heater, air conditioner or whatever. And then there's seats that go along the window. So there's like a little space in between like the window and like the seats that go along them. I don't know if I fell over, but apparently I was sitting on the back seats like under the heater and I fell in between the window and the window seats in that little area and I couldn't get out. I was like stuck back there. So then we get to the club and honestly, I don't know how I got in because I know for a fact that I didn't have any cash on me and there was no like money taken out of my account the next day. And it was a $5 cover charge. So I don't know if somebody paid for me. Nobody told me that they paid for me or I just walked in without paying. But I guess I showed them my ID and just walked in. So I remember a split second from like the club and all I remember is like these red and blue and green like flashing lights. And I know because I went back there like multiple times and they're on the dance floor. So obviously like me and my friends were on the dance floor and I was sitting on a bench. I was sitting on the bench and I guess my friend Lauren came over to me and she was like, you don't look so good, like what's wrong? And I told her I thought I was gonna be sick. So we got up and she takes me into the girls bathroom and I I go to the corner and I just like sit down in the corner and she was like wait here like I'm gonna go get you like a glass of water. So I don't know if she took too long to get it or if I just wanted to leave or something but I left the girls bathroom and I walked out of the front doors of the club and just left by myself. <laughs> I don't know how I made it back to the student center but like the bus from my dorm goes to the student center to drop you off and then you walk to the club because my school has two separate campuses and our dorms were on the other campus so we had to take a bus downtown. So I was walking back to the student center I guess to take the bus and I got on the bus and my friend Steven was on there with his friend Austin and they told me that I got on there and I looked pretty gone. Pretty gone. Pretty gone. So I was like oh okay like I went back with you guys and they were like no like <laughs> 
the bus stopped somewhere and you got off. And I was like, you didn't stop me or anything? And they were like, no, like you seem pretty determined. I don't know where I got off. I don't know if the bus stopped somewhere and I got off or it usually stops at like the McDonald's right next to our dorm. So like all the drunk people can get off and get McDonald's and then just walk back to the dorms. I don't know if I did that, but I got off the bus apparently. So all of that, I literally do not remember. And then I just remember being at the front of my dorm. So I don't know if I got off and took another bus back to the dorm or walked back to my dorm, but I remember being at the front doors of my dorm and there was a line out the door because everybody gets off the bus and then you have to wait in this line because at my dorm you have to take out your student ID if you live in these dorms give it to the person that's right inside the door sitting at a desk with like a computer and a swiper thing they swipe it make sure that the ID is you and then give you your ID back there was a line because that process takes for fucking ever and I was standing in it and I realized like shit my ID is in my room on my pillow I think and I don't have it so I don't know how I'm gonna get in. But my dumbass like pulls out my license thinking that that will work and that they could like look me up or something. But I hand it to the guy and he was like, uh, where's your ID? And I was like, uh, it's up in my room <laughs> on my pillow. And he was like, well, you need to go to the front desk and sign in or something like that then. So I'm like, okay. So I go over to the front desk and of course it's the guy working there that's like 35, hates his life, hates his job, hates kids. He literally like screams and gives you attitude about anything like everybody called him Nighthawk because he would like patrol around the hallways and stuff and like if you were being like the slightest bit loud after 12 he would be banging on your door and like write you up and he was just like an ass so of course it's him working the front desk and I'm like listen I left my ID in my room and they told me to come here to like sign in or whatever. And I remember this part vividly because it scared the shit out of me. After I told him that I needed to sign in or whatever, he was like, Yeah, go wait on the couch. So I went to these like couches that are sitting in the middle of our lobby in our dorm. And I'm sitting there and he literally will not come over. I'm like staring at him. I'm like, I just want to go up to my fucking room. He comes over to me finally and he stands in front of me at the couch like I'm sitting on right now. And he gets in my face like this and he's like, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I was like, Jesus, I'm coming from downtown. Like what? Like, why are you screaming at me? He was like, where are you coming from exactly? Where downtown? Where, where? I'm like, bent? Like the club? Like, I don't know. Like, why are you screaming at me? And he was like, how old are you? How old are you? And I was like, 19, Jesus Christ. Like, why are you screaming? I just want to go up to my room. And he's like, how old are you? How old are you? I'm like, 19. Like, I don't know what to tell this guy. He's screaming in my face in front of everybody that's walking in the front doors. Like, people just passing by. People, other people at the front desk. And he's like, what's your name? What is your name? Like, what is your name? I was like, Nick, my name is Nick Rhodes. Like what the hell? Like this is ridiculous. Why are you screaming in my face? I'm not even doing anything. I didn't give him any attitude. I wasn't rude when I asked like about signing in or anything. Like, I mean, I think that I asked correctly. I don't really know, but he just came over and started screaming in my face. And I was like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. All I want to do is go up to my room and go to sleep. I don't know why you have to be like having a fit in my fucking face right now. So he finally stops screaming at me and I'm like, what the hell was that? So he goes back over to his front desk or something, literally not doing anything that has anything to do with me, not signing me in or telling me I can go upstairs. So I have to sit on this fucking couch and wait for him to come back over. So I thankfully had my phone in my pocket and my friend Katie was upstairs because she decided not to go out. So I'm texting her and repeatedly calling her. I'm like, you need to come down here and get me right now. Like, I don't know if you can take me back up or you can vouch for me, but this guy, Nighthawk, is screaming in my face right now. Like, you need to come down here and get me. Like, I don't know what to do. My ID's in my room. It's, my room's locked. The one time that my room was fucking locked, my ID was in there. Usually I just keep my room unlocked all the time because I don't really care, but it was locked. So she's like, okay, like I'm coming, I'm coming. Finally, like five minutes go by and I see her walking towards me. I'm like, thank God. Like. Please come save me. She sits down and he still is not coming over. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, and I told her all about what he just did, like screaming in my face in front of everybody. And I don't know if she convinced him or he finally let us go or he wasn't looking and we just walked, but we finally got to go upstairs. Thank God for Katie because if she didn't come downstairs, I don't know if he would have called the cops or called the ambulance or something because I was drunk or 
do whatever, but it scared the shit out of me at the time. Now I think it's funny because it was so stupid. Yeah, shout out to Katie because I don't know what would have happened. So I finally got up to my room, unlocked my door, and my ID was right where I said it was. It was on my pillow, just chilling, I forgot it. I made sure not to leave without my ID ever again freshman year. So sorry if that was kind of a short story time, but I thought it was a funny story to share. And it was scary in the moment, but it was a good story to tell my friends about Nighthawk like the next morning or whatever. And it was funny finding out what the first part of my story and what I did then from all of my other friends. So if you want to hear any more story times or any of the other videos I make, you should subscribe down below and click the little notification bell if you want a notification every time that I post. Shout out Kelsey, because I know that you have him on. But yeah, just give this video a thumbs up, and I have a lot more story times that I want to tell that are pretty funny, like the time I got caught stealing, and a lot of others. So yeah, just subscribe, tell your friends, do whatever. But thanks for watching, and thanks for listening, and I'll see you hopefully next Sunday, or whenever I have the time to make a new video. I'll see you then.